upgrade the micro SD storage without having to re-download all of your content. Let's check it out right after this. One thing that's bound to happen is when no matter which storage size that you add into your Steam Deck, it will eventually run out of space. All right, so first things first, let's take out the original one. Well, not the original one, the one that we originally had put in to the Steam Deck. Now ours was a 256. We're going to upgrade that to a 512. So all of your content is already saved on the other one. Take it out. Don't worry about it, all your content is still there and it's time to place the new one right into the Steam Deck. Now there are other multiple ways of getting the content transferred over from the old one to the new one. You can definitely use your PC. But we find this is the most easiest, quickest way that this can be done. So first things first, turn it on. Your Steam Deck should recognize the micro SD and it's time to format it for use with this console. Now it could take some time, which is fine. Make sure that the power source is connected while it completes this task. All right, so it's done. The first thing we wanna do is go back and make sure that it's fully formatted and there it is. It appears blank, clean slate with no content on it. So what do we need? Well, of course, we need the original micro SD that we had put into the Steam Deck a long time ago. So we want to get this content transferred over to the new one without having to re-download. So what we're using is a, an adapter that we can allow us to plug in our existing memory card reader to the Steam Deck. Now there are a couple of solutions that we do recommend. Now we do know that our 256 memory will not take that long, a full battery charge is enough for us to transfer it over. If you're using bigger ones, a good idea would be to plug in some sort of USB-C adapter that will also allow you to plug in other USBs, like one that we're using, along with a power source at the same time. Kind of like a USB hub. And there's many of those available online or even the Steam Dock or the Steam Deck dock, as some of you guys call it, has that ability as well. Where you can charge and plug in other USB devices to be used with the Steam Deck. Perfect. So what we've done is we've accessed the micro SD card. Now both of them on the left hand side are labeled as primary. You can clearly tell which one is the smaller one and the larger one. And basically all you're doing is selecting all of your content. Now we did it bit by bit because we had no idea originally how much battery time would be remaining if we start the entire process and we didn't want to run into problems. Best thing to do, select either everything if you have some sort of power source connected or do it like we did bit by bit and transfer it over onto the new micro SD card. Now keep in mind if you're doing it in parts, the folder structure has to remain the same. So if you're going into folders and copying subfolders, make sure that you put them exactly the same way onto the new micro SD card as they were on the old one. All right, so we started the process with the magic of power of editing. We'll see you on the flip side. All right, it's the moment of truth. We have everything transferred over, all disconnected. We're on the new micro SD card. Let's see if this works. Here we go. Looks good thus far. Uh oh. Oh, and we're in. Success. Barred to a new one. Basically, just put it in, format transfer the data, and success. That's it for this one. Hope you all enjoy. Take care. See you all in the next one.